Rare information about the hedgehog The hedgehog belongs to mammals, and it is an animal whose bodies are round. Its bodies are spread from the outside, a group of thorns that are filled with all of them, and these thorns contain creatine and hedgehogs. They are distinguished by their white faces. Hedgehogs live in certain places in Europe, Africa and Asia, live in forests and spread in lands filled with grass in areas characterized by agriculture. The main food for the hedgehog is insects, worms and some types of plants. The hedgehog lives in many regions of Europe, parts of Africa and parts of Asia, but it lives in regions which consists of a large amount of herbs and natural forests lands where there are agricultural areas because these are the areas in which they live. The hedgehog is a mammal and its body is in the form of a circle over which a large number of thorns is spread from the outside. These spines are made of creatine and the hedgehog is characterized by having white faces and its tips are very short and they are considered to be in the form of somewhat long claws, curved forward. Hedgehogs live in forested areas and areas where there are types of crops and herbs. They also feed and live on eating worms, insects, and some types of these plants. The hedgehog is also a small animal, and if we try to measure the size of the hedgehog, we find that its head and entire body range between 4 to 13 inches. But if we go down to its tail, we find that it does not exceed 2 inches, but if we go down to the size and weight of the hedgehog, we find that it is about 15 to 38 ounces. But if we look at the hedgehog and the age it lives due to the presence of many types of hedgehogs, then identify the types of their ages of different types. There are many types that live from one year to two years, and some of them have a lifespan of more than six years. The hedgehog is distinguished by its large and wide eyes, but it is known that it is one of the animals with poor eyesight and that when it wants to hunt its prey, it pounces on it, it uses the sense of hearing and the sense of smell. The hedgehog is one of the animals that loves solitude and it is considered one of the animals that walk during the night and during the day and the presence of the sun hides in the holes in the trees or the cracks in the stone areas. He spends all his time with hedgehogs like him, and his first and last interest is to mate, care, and raise the young, which is their first and last interest. There are many types of hedgehogs in Africa, New Zealand, Europe, and Asia. There are more than 16 types of hedgehogs. And that I can identify these types because all types of hedgehogs cover their body a dense type of thorns. These thorns are fixed and do not change covering all their bodies and distinguish them. These thorns that cover the hedgehog's body do not change in its life except once. The hedgehog is young and covers its body with two types of longings are weak. And then that kind of falls down a kind of longing very strong. And when any kind of hedgehog feels that someone will attack or suck it, it turns and curls up and issues its thorns, so they are very severe and painful for those who approach them. There are many types of owls who use forest hedgehogs as an easy meal for them. There are also many types of wolves and foxes that eat hedgehogs that have long ears. Also, hedgehogs can live in all kinds of temperatures. It is characterized by activity that prevails over it the largest and longest time of the year during the mild temperatures. It can also live during the dry period and can live in low temperatures and can also live in high temperatures. There is a type of hedgehog that lives in dry desert areas. How can he spend his time in a period of stability throughout the period of severe heat and drought? As for the types of hedgehogs that live in cold temperatures, they have the ability to reduce their bodies to less than 3 degrees Celsius. 
This is what has been called hibernation, and when hibernation is spent, he can raise his body temperature to normal degrees after waking up, reaching a body temperature of 29 and 36 degrees Celsius. Echinacea has been used in medicine in a wide variety of modern and ancient cultures. The use of echinacea in eating spread in the state of ancient Egypt and the Middle Ages, and it spread in these ages. And use in medicine and use in meals in eating. It was also used in many kinds of magic and this was done worldwide in ancient times. Many of the Middle Eastern countries believed that the hedgehog had sufficient ability to treat many diseases, including arthritis, tuberculosis, impotence in men, rheumatism. As for the state of Morocco, they were the most important fixed ideas that if we burn the skin of the hedgehog and inhale the smoke that results from it. This helps to fully recover from types of fever and diseases of the urinary system, and if its meat is eaten. Animals that live in wild areas depend on insects for their food, which contain a large amount of protein and a small percentage of fat, and a large amount of chitin. Everyone who wants to keep hedgehogs must follow this system and his food. Everyone who wants to keep hedgehogs should prepare foods that contain chitin. It provides all the contents of insects and by meals that contain all the species on which they are fed. As for hedgehogs, can you eat from types of vegetables, chicken meat, or cooked pork meat? Or eat kinds of fruits, we must stay away from dairy. Also, People who suffer from certain types of allergic diseases should not be exposed to some dander caused by hedgehogs for people who do not have immunity. The hedgehog has an allergy that he transmits to the person who deals with him through the food of the hedgehog or the places on which the hedgehog sits. The hedgehog has a special sensitivity to all types of oils derived from wood, especially oils of cedar. And we should stay away from these oils because they are very dangerous for the hedgehog and cause him too many problems in my respiratory system. When buying bedding for hedgehogs, we should not bring a bed that contains a type of wood.